What's the holdup? Keep the flashlight still. It's no good. The logs are wet. Move out of my way. <laughs> yeah, right. You're dreaming. Oh, I need paper. Hey, how about this? Perfect. No way! Chill, it's a comic book. It's not. It's a graphic novel. It's firewood. Hey, I could use this. Thanks. Hey! You ever wonder where they get the ideas for these things? Anchovy pizzas before bed? Gives me bad dreams. What if it's not made up? What if comic books were something more? Like what? Like a guidebook to another dimension. Whoa! <gasps> Comic books take you into a world of fantasy and adventure. But is it a place that comes from somebody's imagination? or somebody's experience. Submitted for the approval of the Midnight Society, I call this story, The Tale of the Ghastly Grinner. was a comic book artist. Well, actually, he had dreams of being a comic book artist. Pass. Pass. Objective. So far, things weren't going so well. Rejected. Don't call us, we'll call you. Return to sender. Come to the grand opening of Comic Books, Inc. Fun, prizes, come early, avoid the crowd. Avoid the crowd? What are you looking for, Cakes? Got a big sale on Dust Boy. Dollar a piece, four for five. Fishman. Reported by day, radioactive trout by night. I've never heard of him. Yeah, no one has. Can't give him away. Um, I got this. It's you. I hear you're pretty good. What? Well, come on, Cakes. Don't be shy. Did you bring some of your drawings? How did you know I draw? Word travels. Let me see. Come on, I'm a professional. I'm not very good. I've been trashed by every publisher on the planet. Oh, I don't always listen to what people say, Cakes. A lot of those Zoomers wouldn't know talent from... Uncas. Pardon? You're a little rough around the edges, Cakes. But you draw like one of the greats. Sylvester Uncas. Who? Ever hear of the ghastly grinner? Uh, no. A villain so hideous, his mere laugh could reduce his victims to giggling idiots. Issue one. Volume 1. Drawn by Sylvester Uncas. He was a genius. 
but didn't have the guts for the grinner. It was so frightening. He only drew one issue, and then he disappeared. This is the only copy left. And it's all yours. I can't afford this. Grand opening special. It's on the house. You're kidding. Thanks! Don't thank me, Cakes. Thank Sylvester Uncas. Wherever he is. Microwaves. Who can tell me how they work? Of course, you know Miss Piccolaro. Let's give someone else a try, shall we? Come now, surely those sugar glazed brains are able to generate a zombie. How about you, Mr. Wood? Priorities, Mr. Wood. We have only so much room in our minds. We mustn't seek to fill it with tripe. You can't. It's one of a kind. Correction. It's none of a kind. Microwaves work by exciting the molecules of the target object, stimulating them to a higher state. <laughs> Got a call from school today, Ethan. They said you were causing trouble in class again. Well, Mr. Wrightson hates me. He doesn't hate you. He just doesn't want to see you wasting your time on comic books. This is the end, son. We'll get one more call like that, and there'll be no comic books for you until you finish college. What? It's for your own good, honey. Those silly comic books are an addiction. sit across from you in Mr. Wright's in science class. You know, glasses, sweater, braces. I guess I'm a nerd. Oh, right. I mean, you're not a nerd. That's OK. I think a person should know what they are and work with it. John, I'm making pizza waffles. You want one? Did you want something? I just want to say that what Mr. Wrightson did to you in class today was really creepy, you know? John! Well, that's nice of you to say. I mean it. I think you're a really great artist. And... Maybe you 
should open the door to get rid of this. Oops. <gasps> Too late. <laughs> Jokes lately, Ethan? I sit across from you, Mr. Wright's in science class. Get down! What are you doing here? I heard the explosion over the phone. What's going on? I don't know how, but I think I just brought this guy to life. A ghastly grinder? A grinner. He feeds off people's emotions and drains them till they're nothing but laughing idiots. I think he got my parents. We should tell somebody. My parents! Mom! Hi, come on in and meet Uncle Bob. <laughs> I don't have much of a sense of humor, Ethan. Yeah? Well, I don't have an Uncle Bob. <laughs> To the comic book shop. Maybe that lady knows how to stop the grin. Okay, but I have to be home by six. There's got to be a clue in here somewhere. Something that tells us how to send the grinner back. Oh my gosh, your parents. My parents. Us. Ethan. It's not real. It's just a comic book. Not if you believe in the Uncansian theory. Sylvester Uncas always said he wasn't just drawing comics. He was creating guidebooks to other worlds, real worlds. He seems like a nutcase. That's what everyone thought until he drew the ghastly grinner. Uncas stumbled into something far too evil to be toyed with. And he wanted to put a stop to it before it was too late. This was to be the final issue. The death of the ghastly grinner. It's not done! Before he could finish, the grinner got him. He hasn't been seen since. And now, you've brought the grinner into this world where he can have all the fresh victims he could possibly want. How do you know all this? Sylvester Uncas was my father. That's why I sent you the invitation cakes. That's why I gave you the comic. You've got the touch. I want you to finish his work and bring my father back. How? I'm not microwaves. What? what? That's how you brought him through in the first place, right? And that's how Uncas wanted it to end. 
Yeah, right. Where am I gonna find a microwave oven that big? Not an oven. Mr. Wrightson has... No, the only way to stop the... Yeah, I know. You sit across from me in Mr. Wrightson's science class. So, think this will work? As long as the paraboloids sustain the initial microwave intensity and the focal region is sufficiently agitated... Um, yeah. Listen, Hooper. It might get dangerous. You don't have to stay. What about you? I started this thing. I gotta finish it. Then I'm staying too. I hope there's an explanation for this. Um, not one that you'd buy. This is no laughing matter, young man! <laughs> the microwaves! <laughs> tried to tell us how to beat the Grinner. We just didn't get it. I hope this is better than your microwave idea. Microwaves are the answer. We just weren't using them right. There's only one way to beat him. You've got to finish the drawings. That's what she wanted you to do. Me, I can't do that. Why not? I'm not good enough. Yes, you are. I believe in you, Ethan. She believed in you. But if you don't believe in yourself, we're doomed. much of a sense of humor. Hey, Smiley! Ah! Who's laughing now? Uh... Ethan? Stay with me, we're getting out. 
Laughing. I. I guess I'm glad you're not dead. So am I. Ah, oh. Ethan, Hooper, I want you to meet my father, Sylvester Uncas. Wow. I knew you could do it, Ethan. I believe these belong to you. We always encouraged Ethan's talent, didn't we, dear? <laughs> oh, we knew from the very beginning that he was going to be a star. Yeah, we did. <laughs> <laughs> Sylvester Uncast never drew a comic again. He had enough excitement for one lifetime. As for Ethan, well, you might say he finally made it into the comics. Continued next issue. That was really, uh... Ghastly. <laughs> <laughs> I declare this meeting of the Midnight Society closed. The park was called Playland, and it was the best. You could laugh and scream and get scared to death on rides and stuff up on junk food and ditch your parents all in one night. And there was a spook house called Laughing in the Dark. What's the matter? I was just getting started. This is a clown story. I hate clowns. They're creepy. They give me nightmares. Where's my thermos? Oh, oh, I heard of that. They call it bozophobia. Guess we finally found something wrong with Miss Perfect. Ooh. Hey, I didn't say it. Go ahead. Do your worst. Go on, Bet. Let's see if she can handle it. Here, start for real this time. Okay. Submitted for the approval of the Midnight Society, I call this story The Tale of Laughing in the Dark. It was Friday night and Playland was jammed. 
For thousands of kids, it had everything they wanted. But for one kid, it had just a little too much. Man, that was cool. I know. Man, that was awesome. Yeah. Don't give me that. You almost curled. Did not. So why were you screaming, stop the ride? Oh, please, stop the ride. Because Kathy was scared. Was not. You were going to bark. You snitch. Maybe I should barf right now. On you. Yeah. <laughs> you ever been there? No. Let's go in. What's the matter? I'm not going in there. They say it's really haunted. <laughs> Give me a break. I heard the same thing. Weird things happen in there. Something to do with a clown. Luigi, it's a kitty ride. I could see your twerpy sister being chicken. But you, come on. I'm not a twerpy chicken. That's uh, funny. Smells a little foul to me. <laughs> Both of you are chicken. <laughs> Excuse me, lad. Don't believe in old Zebo, eh? Who are you? I run this place, I do. And he's in there, all right. Just waiting. Pick the right door and you go free. Pick the wrong door and there he'll be. Care to give it a go? Coming in, Mr. Brave Young Lad? Uh, maybe another time. Suit yourself. <laughs> I'll be here. I'm always here. Fine. Not thinking of all the nightmares you're gonna have tonight? Oh, man, give her a break. Keep going, Bet. Yeah, what kind of strange stuff happened inside the ride? Well, that's what the kids wanted to know, especially Ouija. Most of this is pretty boring. It's all pretty boring if you ask me. We didn't ask you. Mm -hmm. But then I found this. KT Clown, Cotton Clamby. The Laughing in the Dark Spook House isn't the original. There was another one on the same spot back in the 1920s. Yes, yeah, so? So, in 1924, the circus came to town and set up near Playland. I guess one of the clowns, some dude named Zebo, was a real foul ball. A clown known as Zebo stole the whole entire circus payroll of $4,000. Wow. He got caught, though, and they chased him into Playland. He ran into the spook house, and he would have gotten away, except for one thing. The cigar. Cigar? Zebo smoked cigars. The police figure he threw one away in the spook house because the whole place caught fire with him inside. A fire spread quickly and attempts to rescue Zebo were futile. Tragically, the clown perished in the inferno. Ew. <laughs> Smoking's bad for your health. A couple years later, they built another laughing in the dark and made a spooky dummy of Zebo at the end to scare everyone. Legend has it that... Legend has it. The ghost of Zebo is still there. Trapped for all time. Exactly. I bet I know why, too. Why? I bet he likes to trap small children inside. And tickle them! <laughs> tickle, tickle, tickle! Here comes Zebo to tickle you! <laughs> Josh! Don't mess, or I'll bung you in the head. Lighten up, will you, Josh? Me? You guys are the Phoebes. You only think there's a ghost clown hanging around in some dumb old ride? Kids have seen things in there. They've heard things, too. It's a spook house, lame ball. It's supposed to be spooky. You gotta be some kind of doofus to think it's real. Boo! Ah! You don't see me getting scared of that junk. Yeah? If you're so brave, why didn't you go in? In fact, I dare you to go in, alone. Why should I? Because I think you're just as chicken as we are. You just don't want to admit it. You 
You're gonna eat those words. How are we gonna make sure he goes all the way inside? You're not, twerp, unless you wanna come with me. She's right. You could just hang right inside the door and never go through. Tell you what, Gutless. Not only am I gonna go through this whole place alone, but when I find the dummy clown, I'm gonna steal his nose. And you're gonna wear it to school for a week. No way. Hey, I thought you were so sure I couldn't do it. What's the matter, Ouija? You getting chicken again? You get it. I'll wear it. Now I'm gonna show you guys how stupid it is being scared of this place. Sorry, my lad. I didn't mean to scare you. Gonna give it a go, huh? Yeah. Yeah, why not? Why not, indeed. It's the most fun in the park when you're laughing in the dark. Grip, Josh. <laughs> Look at me, I'm Zebo. <laughs> Zebo, Zebo. <laughs> Hand over the dough. What do you think I am, some kind of clown? <laughs> what do you think I am, some kind of clown? Maybe we shouldn't let him go in there all alone. No, he deserves this. I know it's you, old man. You can't scare me. Kiss this place goodbye. If I don't get that nose and dead meat. A dummy. A fake dummy. <laughs> no! You're an idiot, Josh. A plastic dummy can't hurt you. Stop being such a wuss and just do it. <laughs> All right. Thanks, guy. You just made me a hero. 
I'm the guy who beats Ebo. <laughs> Hope you can still smell your stinky cigars without your nose. <laughs> Kristen, you can't take it. I'm fine. Keep going. Okay. Well, Josh is pretty cocky before, but after he stole Zebo's nose, he was uncontrollable. Weege, it's you. The guys at school are gonna think so too. <laughs> Not funny. Sorry. After you get through wearing it, I'm gonna get it mounted, like a trophy. Oh, please? Then I'm gonna get it engraved. The kid who beat Zebo. Cool or what? <laughs> Come on, you must have been a little scared in there. No way! I'm telling you, it's all kid stuff with fake dummies and bogus sound effects. Of course, it uh, might have been scary for some people. People that say, bark, bark, bark. <laughs> Enough, all right? You're a hero and I'm a loser. What can I say? Now, now, let's not be bad sports. Besides, you look much better with the nose on. <laughs> I'll get it for you. He's such a snot. Come on. Cigars? But you forgot Dad and I have theater tickets tonight. She's right. Plate of spaghetti uh, in the freezer and chocolate pudding in the fridge. Don't stay up too late playing video games. See you later, Mom. You can't see me now. <laughs> oh, man, what is wrong with me? Hello? Hey, Josh, this is Ouija. Yo, Ouija, what's up? Listen, I, uh, I was kind of being a baby this afternoon. You won the bet, and I shouldn't be mad at you. I'm sorry. That's okay. I was giving you a hard time. Tell you what. I'll only make you wear the nose to school for one day. 
I was kind of hoping you'd forget it completely. <laughs> You're dreaming, pal. Tomorrow's Zebo day for you. <laughs> Later. One day's the best I'm gonna do. No way, Weege. You're not scaring me. It's a joke. He's trying to get me. I'll show him. I'm not scared. He can't scare me with kids' stuff. There's no such thing as Zebo the Clown. No way. I'll just eat dinner and... <sighs> Grow up, Josh. Oh, how can that burn so fast? <sighs> Cigar smoke? This is Josh. I'm, I'm... Josh, slow down. Tell me the truth. Did you call my house before and pretend you were Zebo? <laughs> Whoa, what's the matter, Josh? You sound kind of scared. I'm not. Yeah, okay, okay. I'm scared. I was scared on the ride, and I'm really scared now. Was that you? Give me a break. Why would I... What was that? Is that you, Cassie? Put down the phone. Josh, we only have one. It's got to be at your house. If you don't give it back, I'll come up and get it. Who was that? Okay, I shouldn't have taken your nose. I'm sorry. There, it's all yours. And uh, just to show there's no hard feelings, cigars. <laughs> all for you.
It's the most fun in the park when you're laughing in the dark. <laughs> the end. So it was a crazy old guy all along. No way. He could have done that stuff in the house. Maybe the old guy was really Zebo's ghost. Yeah. So what do you think, Kristen? Is Zebo going to pay you a visit tonight? I'm sorry, Kiki, I did it. Sat through the whole story and I'm OK. What do you say to that? I'd say that's a good thing, because we wouldn't want you having nightmares. What way? <laughs> Enid turns. I'm gonna cut right to it. Uh, I wanna go out with you next Friday. Do you wanna go out with me? Do I have anything to say about this? Sure, you could say, uh, what time? I'm not getting in the middle of this. <laughs> whoa, big fella, whoa! <laughs> what are you doing? Gary's my servant for a week. Down, boy. Why? I need a deal. Don't ask. I found a poem he wrote. Tucker? A poem? I promised not to show it to anybody if he'd be my servant for a week. Enough, you little spud. One more word and the deal's off. No sweat. Hurry up and tell your story. I've got some dirty socks that you've got to wash. I've got a special story tonight. There's an old saying, what goes around, comes around. In my story, a kid finds out that no matter what you do, good or bad, it always comes back at you. It's great if you do something nice, but if you do something rotten, watch out. It's coming back, and probably when you least expect it. Submitted for the approval of the Midnight Society, I call this story The Tale of the Crimson Clown. Mike was a pretty average kid who worked a paper route. It was the day before his mother's birthday, and he managed to save $70 to buy her a gift. Come on, we gotta get to the store before it closes. Go yourself, I'm watching something. Sam, it's Mom's birthday tomorrow. We have to get her a present together. Let's go. Go where? Um, skating. Skating. Just, just for a little while. Yeah, wouldn't want to get too chilly skating, would we? Keep your eye on your brother and be home at 6. OK. Skates. Mm. I guess we'll need these, won't we? Skates. Crud. Don't buy anything here. Sam. I'm going to the toy store. I'm supposed to watch you. No sweat. Watch me leave. Sam, we gotta get Mom's present. No, you gotta get Mom's present. I'm out of here. Forget it. Would you lighten up? I'm only going next door. Well, just go next door, all right? And don't leave till I come get you. Yes, ma'am.
hundred bucks. Right. Can I help you? Oh, um, yeah. Um, I'm, I'm looking for a birthday gift for my mom. I see. Well, my friend, how much are you willing to spend? Um, 70, 70 dollars. Let me see now. Oh, yeah. How about this little prize? It's perfect. Sam, what do you think? Sam? It's OK. I'll take it. How much is it? For you, $50. All right. Is there a problem? Um, well, my money's gone. Oh, I must have left it at home. I'm sure I brought it. I see. Maybe another time. Sam, have you seen my money? Sam? Where did you get this? The toy store. With what money? My birthday money. You spent that on a bike. I had some left over. No, you didn't. You spent it all. You stole my money. Let's consider it a loan. Sam, that money was for Mom's birthday gift. It was all I had. Oh, well, too late now. No, it's not. We're getting it back. Oh, can we just return something? Oh, well, guess it missed your chance. No, I didn't. Come on. Can I pay you tomorrow? I swear, please. It's my mom's birthday. Sorry. Come back when you got the money. Does this mean we can go home now? Do you know what happens to bad kids? I mean, really bad kids like you. No, why don't you tell me? Whenever you get snotty with somebody, whenever you hurt someone, whenever you're selfish or insult somebody. Yeah, yeah, I better not pout, I better not shout, because Santa Claus is coming to town. Sam, whenever you're bad, that means when you steal. Crimson Clown is watching you. Ooh. Watch out, Sam, or it'll get you. Ooh, I'm scared. Don't believe me? You'll see. Now we're late. Mom's going to be tipped. Well, who cares? You should. Because of you, we don't have a gift for her. Just put some cash in a card. She'll be happy. You stole my cash, remember? Why don't you ask your pal the Crimson Clip? Come on. Come on, let's go. I told you to be back at 6. I'm sorry, Mom. I wanted to come home, but Mike said he wanted to see his friends and he didn't care how late we'd be. Oh, is that right? Well, we'll just see about that. Michael, get down here right now! 
Yeah, Mom? Why are you so late? And what's this I hear about you not caring what time you get home? Especially when you have your little brother to look after? I mean, how many times do I have to tell you this? You have to do your homework. You have to have a bath. We haven't even had dinner. I've been telling you this kind of thing since you were five years old. Now, listen, I have to be able to count on you. You're the man of the house. I want to look at me, young man, when I talk to you. Now, I want you to get up in your room, and I don't want to hear one word out of you until dinner's on the table. Is that clear? Yeah? Supper will be ready soon. Wash up. Okay. Are you okay? Sure, Mom. Just mad at Mike for getting you so upset. Don't worry about it. Let's go. Funny. Dinner's ready. Don't make Mom any madder than she already is. at turd face. All right, Sam, it's time for bed. Can I stay up a little bit longer? Yeah, Mom. He could watch a really scary horror movie. Sam would love that. That's OK. Wimp. I'm not, you overgrown dirt bag. Whoa, keep it up, and the crimson clown will get you. Cut it out with this stupid clown stuff. I know what you're doing, and I'm not scared. What's wrong with him? I don't know. We're at the sto ice rink, and he was being a pain. So I told him if he keeps on being bad, a crimson clown will get him. Mike! I didn't even think he was listening. He never listens to anybody. Just give him a break, sweetie. He's still little. Yeah, a little jerk. You're the jerk, Mike. You geek.
Nothing. You gotta get to sleep or mom will kill you. What do you care? Hey, Sam. That stuff I said about the clown. It isn't true, you know. I was just mad at you. Yeah, whatever.
help you, Sam. <laughs> You're a bad kid. No one wants to help a bad kid. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm sorry for everything I did. I'm sorry. No, you're not. I am. I'm sorry I stole Mike's money and ruined Mom's birthday. I'm sorry. Please give me another chance. I'll be good. Give me another chance. It's from me and Sam. Oh, it's beautiful. Thank you both. <laughs> Sam got what he asked for. Happy birthday, Mom. Another chance. Happy birthday, Mom. Every kid deserves another chance. And the Crimson Clown gave him his. With a little help from Mike. That is a great story. Yeah, what did you think, Tucker? I'll do my own socks. Yes! <laughs> what are you doing? You might need it. I doubt it. So, uh, we going out or what? Well, like Gary said, what goes around comes around. It's a real hot offer. But... I just think you need to cool off. <laughs> uh, can I walk you home? Sure. <laughs> 